My name is uh, Yin Wu, and uh, I uh, have been practicing uh, Nichi Ren Daisoni Buddhism with Chen Nam Nyo Hodeng Eko for 28 years. And uh, first time I come in San Diego, my husband and neighbor and I have a daughter with me. I went to school, and uh, she sakabuku me. She taught me chanting. Nam Nyo Ho Deng Gai Ko. That time my daughter only six months old. My husband go to overseas for six months. And she told me I have to change Nam Nyo Ho Deng Gai Ko for family happy. Family happy and uh, protection. My birth, I practice in uh, Buddhism, other kind of Buddhism, uh, old kind of Buddhism, that's what I call old kind. We change. Nam Mo Ayeda Phật. But I see my family practicing for 60 years. My mom practiced 60 years. My family never happy. All the time have a problem. I never have enough food to eat, hungry, starving all the time. And I'm angry with my family. Why you have a kid and don't have enough food to feed them? And to when I met my husband, he an American man. He an Work for government in Vietnam, how I met him, 1960. Hmm. Because uh, uh, one day I went to school, and the lady, she saw me carrying my baby, six months old, and went to school. And when the right time, I go fed my daughter, and she told me, you have a beautiful daughter, Chen Nam Nyo Ho Deng Ego, for family happy and protection. And that time, I don't understand. What you talk about? Because I I am practicing <laughs> Buddhism too. But did all Buddhism? I don't I don't know. For me, I think they work. But she told me uh, all Buddhism <laughs> not working can change your karma. And I I don't understand. And I wait till five years later. And she find the one Vietnamese guy explain to me that the Buddhism Nam Nyo Ho Deng Eko Nichi Ren Dai Son Ni Thit that. Uh, a uh, top one that for change you come up for everything you wish you get it and uh, I I I tell you not believe her and to after the Vietnamese guy explained to me say don't worry did the Buddhism uh, I study about Buddhism Chen Nam Nyo Ho Deng Eko for 10 minutes a day say how do you feel if you feel different try it go receive a horn song and you know I went four or five time meeting and I, I, they talk Japanese and <laughs> English, uh, sometimes English, but I don't understand. But after I, that man explained to me, I understand. I said, yeah, I received a horn song 1988. And um, I have a problem because I have my old Buddhism in my house. She told me, you had to take that, go, uh, you old Buddhism, go to the temple, live over there for three months. And Chen Nam Nyo Ho Deng Eko for three months. See how do you feel? Do they change something, something different? And keep continuing to do, but if not, go back to your temple, get your old Buddhism, bring inside and change. And after I do for three months, I see my life change, happy family. Ah, uh, that, and I said, now I leave my old Buddhism in the temple. I don't want to drink bath, and you know. And I start chanting for two years later. I have a problem, divorce my husband. My daughter passed away. And I said, why, why is that, you know? But she, my, the lady, she, Japanese, Sakaboku, she said, that your karma. You need to change your karma. Don't worry what happened now. That made you stronger. If you keep continuing to do it, I, I guarantee you, you did have the whole family more happy. If you keep continuing, if you quit, go back the same old thing, you know. And I told her, okay. 
and I have very bad asthma. Each time I go meet it, I have asthma attack me, and don't, I don't feel like to go, you know. And I have um, my husband have to go overseas for six months. I have to take care of four children, <laughs> one, three, four, five, <laughs> you know, the young one. Each time I went meeting my son, run around, she doesn't like that. But she said, ten, ten minutes before you go meeting. And keep continue to do it. Don't, uh, your children not behave, change for them behavior. And when they go meeting, sit still and change for your asthma. Each time you go, asthma don't attack you. And I said, okay, I try. And I keep doing that. And very soon, three years later, my asthma stop bothering me. And you know, and I'm working bartender. <laughs> and that time, all it, every Wednesday, we go Sakabuku, ring the new gate, and receive the horns so on, and I'm working, I can do my... I Sakabuku a lot of people, the bar I work, I am bartender, and people go there, ring, I, I taught them chain up, you know, they go, and people, what that? I say, you want to know? Go to the meeting and find out. <laughs> and the, more the guys, they think I go meeting, tell them go meeting, and maybe I can go out with them. <laughs> and you know, and I said, no, I want to ring you. Go meeting and chen nam nyo ho ding ko for happiness, not for go meet the woman. And some people go with me and they come home, they're happy and they don't ring in, <laughs> not you too. And I, I keep saying, well, you chen for five months. What you have a problem with your girlfriend or why, whatever, and see how do you feel. I chuck a book a lot of people. But sometimes I suck a book, I'm busy work, and I don't go a lot of meetings. And later on, my daughter passed away with a car accident. And I wake me up, and now the time for me to sincerely determine what you have to do in your life. Because I have four boys, only one girl, and she passed away. That killed me. And you know, I said, well, I have a cojonzo. I have to change my karma, no matter what. And i very upset when my daughter passed away. I don't want to go work. I don't want to do nothing. My leader told me, you have to be strong. That's your karma. You have to accept that. Don't think that your daughter died and you quit. You quit. You don't wear nothing. We go look at President Akita. And, you know, he have a problem to me, he never quit. And when I hear like that, and she told me, um, read a new paper, uh, Lipan Buddhism every day, and read a gozo, a guidance, go get a guidance. You need to go get a guidance when my daughter died. I'm almost kill myself. I just don't want to leave. And she took me to go to see that lady who guided me. She said, you know what? Right now you lamb up in the mountain, only halfway. That's why all the rock follow you. You have to understand that. Go on to work. Well, that's up to you. We all have a nam nyo ho dang go inside you. You have to believe that. And if you believe that, Whoever laugh about you, because I tell people, Chen Nam Nyo Ho Deng Eko, you can overcome any kind of problem, you know, make you happy. And my friend saw me, I had my daughter die, I divorced, and you know, I have a hard time to go work, and people met me, hard time, you know, all that. And my friend said, why are you changing? I don't see you look happy, you know. I said, what you talk about, you know, you feel I'm not happy. I feel I'm happy inside. But, you know, sometimes I wonder why that happened, why my daughter died, and why I divorced my husband, you know, so, so. But now the lady guiding to me said, divorce and suffering, everybody have that. If you don't have suffering, you know, how you change, how you know go home to work. And when I hear like that, I say, okay. I uh, I keep doing, I, I determined to change one hour a day. Daimoku nam nyo ho And after I start change one hour a day, I feel a lot of hope. 
I feel a lot of hope. And uh, I tell myself, uh, my children, my older one, he received Corona too. And when she saw me, and my daughter died, and, she, and he looked that upset. And he blamed about me. And I said, don't worry, I will overcome. I have a feeling I will overcome any kind of problem. But you know, I say that, and one day, my, do my daughter passed away, and I met a boyfriend. I have a baby with him, and my I asked him marry me. He didn't want to marry me. He beat me up every day. You know, I work bartender, have have teeth every day. He, I come home two o'clock morning. He stand in the door and hold a gun and say, "How much money tip you made a day?" And if I don't give to him, he keep he he, he will want to kill me. And I, whatever I have, I have to give to him. And you know, he if I give him money, he go gamble, drinking, and I hate that. And he um he tried to kill me ten times, but I can get away with that because I'm your holding a go and go home to protect me. And I stay with him for three years. I said, one time he took my car and he wrecked my car. And time for me to go work. I said, where my car? I need to go work. He said he don't know where he leave my car at. And I'm so angry. I said, now the time for you, you know what? You don't own it with me and you beat me up all the time. I I can't do that no more. You have to leave. If you don't, I have to leave. I told him like that. And he got mad at me. He go to where I work. He met my manager hot time. He said, I don't want that lady to work here. You know, you better let her uh, go. And, uh, and the manager called me. He said, your boyfriend wants to tell you he don't want you to work here. What can I do? You want I let you go or what? I said, you know, meet with him. If I don't work, how I have money to pay the rent and how I take care of my kid and, you know, all that. And he said, your boyfriend come here almost hit me, kick me in the chair, all of that. And I, I tell him, you know, you're not supposed to come in my office and do that thing. And that's why I said, Mr. Sam, please, I work here a long time. You know how I am. Can you give me one more chance? And I will tell him, don't bother you. I will let him go. Don't bother me. And I move. I don't want him to see where I live. And he find me anyway one night. I come home to club and he's wait for me and he beat me up, my blood, everything come out. And I had to run to my friend house, knock the door, and they saw me carry my baby and my blood to my nose and I was so scared and I said, please let me in, I don't want my boyfriend hit me outside, you know. And that old lady, she tell her daughter, let her in. And he keep come knock the door. And uh, my friend said, I cannot let you in your boyfriend here, you know. I, I don't want him hurt my mom. I said, well, what what you did? You want me, he killed me, and you want me in your house. And the mother said, let her in, call the police. Come get him. Don't let, don't let Lynn stay outside with him. And she let me in, I'm so happy, and they called the police, come get him, and he go in jail. Three, four days later, he come out. He do the same thing. And I tell my leader, I need to move out in the United States. I can't live here no more. Wherever I move, he find me. And each time I move, I, 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 look, I lost money. Go, so, you know, you have to pay deposit, and you have to let the owner know for one month or two months before you move. But when he bought me, I can't do that. And I tell myself I need to move back to Hawaii or New York to live with my children. You know, I can't stay in San Diego no more. And my leader said, why? I said, because he been beat me up. He don't let me go work. And wherever I hide money, he took my money, he go in the bank, roll my chat and take all my money. How, how I can live like that? She said, now the time for you to change your karma with a man. You need to change three hours a day. 
and that's why he don't bother you no more. You think you go to New York, he leave you alone. You go to Hawaii, he leave you alone. I said, of course. He said, karma inside you. Where you, you go, you karma with you. You think that why try chant three hours a day. Nam nyo ho dang ngay ko. Chant hotel ko ho na. I don't want my boyfriend bother me, leave me alone, you know, and see what happened for three months. And after I chant uh, three hours a day, for three months, he never bothered me for more. Only a year now, I never see him. You know, and that why I'm be so strong now. I still have a problem. I said, I will overcome my problem one by one. I want to solve my family at the pool and my member. I suck up to a lot of people to see go home so too. But after I have a stroke, oh man, I have another problem with my member. They said, oh, you've been chatting a lot. That's why now you cannot talk. And that's why you have stroke. And I said, don't worry. I overcome my boyfriend, don't bother me, leave me alone. And now my stroke, I change my karma. Change my karma. I, I, I will be a happy person. And I will, I determine, let me talk, because I didn't talk for six months when I have stroke. And I keep change in my mind. I tell Kohona, I need to talk. If I don't talk, you know, how I can go suck up with good people? And then my mind like that, and because night time I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat my mouth here, I can chew, I don't get nothing. But in my mind, I said, I determined, let me talk and I can suck the buku and to do people, 10 person a day, <laughs> you know, and I do like that. And every day I change my mind, I, my voice not come out of my mind. I know what I determined, I know what I say. And after that, and six months, I overcome I invite my them, you know, I tell him, I have all that kind of problem, but I'm chanting, Nam Nyo Ho Deng Ngo, I overcome. Try it. If you try for three months, you know, chant Nam Nyo Ho Deng Ngo. If you sincerely, you have a big problem, you chant maybe one or two hours a day. But if you want something overcome quick, you can chant one or two. Maybe if you change to see how you feel, and you know, that might it's better because I overcome. Boyfriend beat me up, stroke, and I have asthma, I overcome. And if I'm overcome, you can overcome too. But you have to try. You have to sincerely. You have to 100% don't say, oh, I don't think they work, so, so. Don't ever think like that. Say, I want to try. I will overcome. You know, if you think like that, you will. Because I read a Nietzsche Randy's on his writing. Go so they say, you change, but you don't get what you want. I can keep my life to you. And when I read that, and I said, no, no delusion tell, oh, you change, you don't get, I keep my life to you. Nobody say like that. But I know Nietzsche Randy's on me. He want to help the other people. People all over the world, not for one person, two person. Right now we have 192 countries. And I follow President Akira. He, he has been sick too, but he overcome. <laughs> That's why when I read about he 34 years old, he, he thinking he died. But now he 86 years old. He I want alive. to say to the, the people, if you Hear my experience. Please try. Because we, we do that. Not only you, but you do that for your grandchildren and your children and your family. They protect for seven generations. Not only you. What are you and more? That's my determiner. I don't have money to keep nobody. But wherever I go, I keep. The cards and chain up your holding ago. Even my lawyer, my <laughs> doctor, and you know, I went to the court and they said, I wear my cat, I go, I keep to the church. You know, and he, my lawyer, don't let me, but I go anyway and the church. He's so happy. He said, Thank you. You know, I never hear that. Nam your holding ago.
Thank you.